Hey everyone, it's Will here in the greenhouse and today we're talking about starting seeds at home because a lot of you guys are doing that right now as you've got some time on your hands and you want to get yourself some green little things going for the summertime. So what we're going to talk about today is uh, how to get the seeds that you need, what else you need soils, we're going to talk about trays, we're going to talk about good germination at home and some tips to get that for you. So in front of me now you see a small fraction of this of the supplies that are available here at Hemans for germinating your seeds. It can be overwhelming, but I'm going to show you guys what these are and how to use them. So first up here, we've got our greenhouse kit. In this kit, it's going to be a combination of a bunch of the things that are around here now. Uh, so in this kit, you're going to have a heated mat. And what this is, is a mat, a black mat that you would put underneath a tray like this one. And that will give you a nice even heat underneath to help you to germinate your plants. The second one that we have is uh, some of these Jiffy Pots. These are a uh, pelletized thing. It's a dried out... Um, mix and so they're going to be light as a feather like this and what you would do is you would take these and you'd soak them in your house either overnight or i just did these and it took me about 10 minutes to get to that point they soak up and they basically expand out and then you can actually sow your seeds right into here if you look closely in the top of them here you'll see that there's this hole and that's where you're actually going to put your seed into right there so once you've got that germinated it'll be or swelled up sorry it'll be ready for you to receive the seed into the other option that you can do is you could go with more of a grower tray, which at Hemans, you can see here, we actually use, this is the tray that we use here. This is a crop of peppers. These are juniper sweet bell peppers, and they were sown on March 5th. And you can see that they're doing very well here, nice and germinated, but there's actually 512 of them in there. And this is how dense we wanna go with them at the start, because you don't have a lot of room in your house, probably. You certainly don't have a lot of room in the bright, sunny, uh, bright, sunny spot where you're gonna to have to put these. So, you want to start with small trays and then ramp up and give them a bigger space when they get bigger. Um, the other one that you could go with is you could use some of these grower trays like what we have here. With these guys here, they're going to be great. What you'll need is some fresh soil, which is the next thing. So we sell a number of different soils that are on our online store right now, but this is the Hemans Potting Mix. This is what we're using here for ours. This is uh, our top seller online right now. I definitely recommend that if you're going to sow your own seeds in some soil. The other alternative is we have a uh, Promex seed starting mix, which is also gonna be great that's on the website too. So you would take that soil, you put it in there, but you wanna have proper drainage in these so you'll see that there's these holes that are in the bottom. So that would be a problem because your water is going to soak onto your tray. Uh, and if your tray has holes in it, then it's gonna get on your floor. So we wanna make sure that we select a tray that has no drainage holes so that we don't make a mess of our floors or our countertops or our sills. So we're gonna have either a tray or we're going to have some pellets we're going to have great soil we're going to have this and then we might have a heating mat but then on top of that for good germination you want to have a grow dome or some kind of system to be able to put a clear uh, plastic liner on the top of your tray to lock in the heat and lock in the humidity so you're going to water these well and then you're going to put that on there you're going to put it underneath in a very well lit spot so if you have a window in your house you're going to want to put it there and what that's going to do is it's going to create some condensation. If we put the grow dome on top, that's going to lock it in and it's going to create a mini greenhouse right in your own home. And that's going to be awesome for germinating, cracking those seeds that are going to be needing to uh, get opened up. So using a grow dome is going to be a great idea. Once you have that on there and um, you'll know, we'll get into it in a second, when you actually want to remove that. So in order to get to a crop like this, you first need to sow your seeds. So you have a number of seeds, you can call us uh, to order your seeds here at Hemans. We'll add them to your pickup. Order your delivery, whichever one you're going with. This is basil. I usually recommend basil to people because a lot of people know what to do with basil. And it's something that's really easy and a really quick crop to start in your house. There's a whole bunch of options here right now. If you are looking to start, some tomatoes are gonna to be great. Pepper is also a good time to start peppers right now. They're a little bit lower on the germination rate, so don't be discouraged if you don't get as many as what you're thinking. I also have lettuce and coriander here. Uh, they are two options that are great, and herbs don't need as much sunlight as um, veggies. So if you are gonna be growing these outdoors later on in the summertime, you wanna keep that in mind. So with your basil, when you open it up, you're gonna see that the seeds are very small. and I, I know it sounds funny, but these are actually one of the larger seeds that we work with here at Hemans because we have some that are smaller than the size of a pinhead. But with the basil, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a few of those out and you could do as little as one if you are 
either sure that they're going to germinate or it's a seed that you don't want to crowd but you're going to take that one and you can take your uh your pellet that you've swelled up and you're going to drop those seeds i have four in here so we're going to go with the cluster and i'm just going to drop those guys right into the center and you won't be able to see that there but they're now inside there and we could put those into our little grow chamber here we could line the entire area with all of these pellets that we have with our, either our seeds now keep in mind that you don't always need to sow the entire package that you have there because you could get yourself a lot of seeds some of you guys don't know yet but you got a green thumb so you don't want to end up with 50,000 tomato plants trust me you don't have room for those so I would suggest that you only sow what you need another tip is if you have a bunch of lettuce say and you got all the seed don't just sow it all right now. You could sow some of it now and then wait another week or two and then you get yourself a staggered crop. This will mean that come spring and summertime when you get into harvest on the crops that you're growing, you're gonna get them staggered so you don't have a boatload of product or produce that you don't know what to do with. So once you have yourself the seed that you've sown into your tray and you put it in your grow dome or your grow uh, tray here, what you're going to do is you're going to fill it up with all the rest of them. Make sure that they have a good amount of water. If they're soaked like this, then you're good. What you'll notice is when I drop these in here, I didn't make sure that I poke the seed down into the hole. When you are doing your seed, I know a lot of people might feel the urge to actually poke that seed way down deep, but you don't need to. Think about in nature, if a seed is falling from a plant up top, it doesn't actually get buried into the soil. It just can be fine on top of the soil. If it's something that is gonna produce a lot of hair roots afterwards, you can go with a little bit of extra topsoil, or sorry, potting soil, and you can just cover them afterwards. You don't need to do that at the start. Just leave them right on the top of the soil. They'll be just fine. They'll get more sunlight that way anyways. So once you have this, you're gonna put it in a bright sunny spot. In this greenhouse anywhere is fine, but in your home, it might be a south facing window, a west facing window, or if you don't have either of those, an east facing window, Wherever you think you're gonna be able to get it the most sunlight is gonna be the best spot for you to start your seeds because sun is going to be energy for your plant uh, in the beginning. And if it does not get enough sunlight, you're gonna see them stretch. And you'll know when they stretch because they're just gonna get really, really tall and skinny and they're gonna flop down. And that is gonna be something to be avoided. Now we talked about using the grow dome. When we first start, we're going to put that on to the, the tray and we're gonna place it in our window and gonna wait. Some of these seeds will start to germinate within only 18 hours. Some of them might take a long time, days or even weeks. You're going to watch them closely. And the second that you start to see some activity, some germination in your tray, you're going to remove the grow dome because you want to take that starter fuel off. You don't want them to keep growing and growing in this intense humid condition because they will respond to that and get really tall. And we don't actually want that. So the trick is if you're growing this basil, so we were planting, this was basil that we just did here. This is basil that we've done five days ago. This is a nice even crop and you can see that these are nice little baby basils, which will be available for sale at Hemans as well because we do still have a full crop of all of our vegetables and edibles. We have not touched those. So if you're asking, we have lots if you aren't interested in growing your own. Um, but if you've got to this point in the video, you're probably very interested in growing your own. So this is gonna be a nice even crop of basil that you'd be looking for. Nothing too stretched and nothing too tall. Make sure for the entirety of your time having your basil seeds or your plants that you're gonna have them in the full sun in your house. There is no seed that I know of that is gonna do uh, better in a shaded spot. So try to pick the sunniest spot, keep them in there, and then when they start to get even bigger than this size here, for uh, the peppers, for example, that's when you might consider bumping them up and transplanting them into the next size up, which might be the one that you would choose either for uh, putting in the garden after that. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. We hope you've enjoyed this and be sure to check us out in the springtime for your veggie seedlings if you want them. And you can check out our online store at heman.ca right now to pick up all these seeding supplies you've seen in this video today. Thanks so much for watching.